There we go. They just picked up our look. The look, man, then from uh, Moran's Vault. They picked up 1,732 litres. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Just silly little dog. There we go, little truck. It's a job. We'll put the wash through the vat now and uh, give her a good bob. Oh, by the way, everybody, good morning. Good morning. Just washing the vat. Just put the first root through and then we'll cut through a uh, couple of big bobs. And just shut it down. Why don't we send our book uh, through to our book company because that book's got penicillin in it and we get some major grades. I mean, as it goes through, it doesn't get picked up the tanker, then it gets picked up when it's in the big vats that they go into to, uh, before they get processed. Then you're looking to you get a half a million dollar fine because that's the whole process of the So yeah, just washing the vat now. Um, Milkman goes and what he does with that milk is he goes and feeds calves. They got about 600 calves to feed. And that's, um, well they do there, they're freezing calves and uh, mutley sort of calves she said. So that's cool. So that's where, who, where we send our milk when we can't send it. That's when um, it's got penicillin in it or it's got um, yeah, anything really wrong with high somatic sort of thing, you can't send it. So that's why we send it to them. It does a great job. And, oh, at least it goes, gets to go somewhere and Dad gets something for it rather than dumping it. <laughs> all right. Let's get to wash this vat. Yeah, that's the vat all washed down. Just put the final rinse cycle through. Grab your little latch here and we'll go and put that away. Awesome. Just like that. Uh, so they're warm up and we go down and feed some cows. Just gonna uh, take down three bales of silage. We're gonna grab two from the house paddock and one from further down. And we're uh, off down the farm. We've got a bale of silage on the front, a bale of silage on the back. And we're gonna pick up a bale of silage just further down the farm here. We did let a uh, scungy cow out of here. She's gonna be going down with the herd. Then we're gonna look at uh, Next couple of days, maybe sort out a few animals. Those are empties that are carryovers and put scungy with them. Put them on the stock bag. See how they go. All right, um, yeah, let's head on down. Then yeah, should be down there shift the cows by now. And then uh, once we've done that, we've got to shift the bulls. A few things to do today. Let's get to it. Well, we've got another bale of silage on board there on the left. As you can see, it's got quite foggy down here, so we'll carry on this way and then we're going to shoot out and feed those girls. And um, yeah, let's keep going. Let's see how much of a mess they've made. They shouldn't have made too much of a mess. Cows are out here somewhere. Little beehives go for Manuka honey. Yep, Manuka honey. Well, watch out, girls. They do well. They do well, as we've been told. Set up another reel. Down. Make sure it falls into the bow feeder properly and then lifting it back up. 
so I can get the wrap off. I think the girls are enjoying their holiday. We've got one more bale of silage to feed out. They'll be happy little girls. Only one. One forty-one. And there's a friendly one. Number 80, eh? There he is. Hello. You all right? That's looking good. Exactly, a good roll will do it. Another real setup, I see. Back fencing. Leave them in there for the day. Yeah, enough moisture in the ground. Yeah, it is. Hello, Jamie. Hey. All right, I better get to it. These girls are starting to circle. This is a good bale of silage, too. I really like this one. They definitely like that second, uh, last bale better. As you can see here, they haven't made a mess. If anything, I've made more of a mess going through. Yep. You see, it's quite wet. I should have really come in over here. I thought the clay bank runs down here and actually runs further over, Dad told me. So as you can see, it's quite wet in this paddock, but um, they haven't made that much of a mess. As Dad said, they'll just roll yeah, it. Yeah, they come. Go, bull. Just shifting the bulls. Getting away from that, uh, from where they are in this paddock here. They um, will annoy the cows and probably get through the fence. Hubbo! Fucking away there. Oh, I think that's good. Fighting away there as you can see. Hey, happy. Go, Bo! Come on, Bo! So, we head back up the front. We'll grab one of those bales of silage and take them up the front, ready to feed out tomorrow. Here's the bullies. They're happy on there. We don't usually put them on there, but we've got them on there because we haven't sorted out those cows yet. They shouldn't make too much of a mess. There's a heap of grass there. Right, let's get a move on. Up the front. See what we get up to today. As you can see here, we're just in the stump hole here and uh, these nice boards here. This is from where the local council here, they drop, um, they sometimes drop dirt in here from slips and that and also from redoing culverts. And this will be from an old culvert they had redone and uh, didn't want the wood. So we'll take it. We might as well come and pull it out and give it a new home in one of our drains. Here comes Dad. They're heavy. Look the size of them. Had to be an eight before. It's going to be heavy. It looks like he goes to the other side too. So far, so good. <clears throat> Couple more in here. Woo! Oh, dug a dig a hole, big, nice deep hole here. Tractor's ready to go. Digger's there. Couple of boards there, Dad. Yep. Be good for some culverts. Right. Let's put them on the back of that tractor. And we'll carry on. A bit of huffing and puffing required. We got it. So as Dad would say. Six by two, which is literally half the size of these buggers. These are eight by fours. Six by twos are ten dollars a meter. So imagine what these big fellas are a meter. Cleaned it out there. There's a couple in there, but they're rotten. I wouldn't worry about those. Ready for some more stumps? Thanks, someone's been watching YouTube. <laughs> How to turn properly. And he's off. That's him full speed. He's away, baby. All right. Damn slow traffic. Down away. <laughs> Good day, do we? We're gonna go down, put this in the woodshed by the maize chopper, the single row maize chopper, and then we'll see what else. I'm not too sure what else we get up to today. A few other things to do. Down here at the far hay bone. There we go. Put these boards, we're just gonna line them up on this side. Same thing, stack them up, lean them this way. Pretty easy.
And there we go with that. All of those are nicely along there. Trailer's empty. Let's head on up the front. Dad said just home. go home, have a shower, and change your gumboots, because my gumboots are soaked from being in that uh, stump hole. Right. I'll see you all up the front. I'll see you after lunch. Whew, it's a beautiful day. We're back to it. Afternoon. Let's go set up some reels. Dad had uh, brunch with Granddad. How's Granddad? Uh, brunch, yeah, yeah. Granddad's happy. Hey, man. Yep. And I had a nice shower. I'm now clean. I got better gum boots on. Ready for the next dipping. Yes. Ready to get wet again. They haven't been in here since. April, so a lot of grass. What you say? Yep, Dad saved, saved it all up for winter. It's going to go really well. These cows are going to love this stuff. How many days do you get out of here? So Dad's hoping to get four and three, so seven days out of here. It's a lot of grass. A lot of grass. And of course, I got the three bales of silage every day, so that should be good. People might ask why we feed three bales of silage. Well, we don't have to buy it in. So we mow the feed, we don't have to buy hay in. So we mow the feed out the silage. That's right. We make a lot of, we call it Russian silage, Russian silage, Russian. Russian, because it's all going Russian. Russian, yeah. Russian. They, 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 eat it in the winter, but they don't eat it when they're full. Yeah. Well, we mow this for silage. It seems to take out most of the rushes, actually. Most of the gone. Yeah. We mow it for silage, it seems to. The rushes struggle to come back before the grass and the grass starts to smother the rushes a bit. And then when the cows come through all the winter they'll graze this right down and they'll eat the rushes too. They haven't really had a good graze out of here for a while though. Dad's on his way. We'll just follow him up on the left of the there's lift tire there, that's where we're going to be putting those. Nice, well, first one's done. That used quite a few standards. Right. Gonna go do the other one. You see the other one? Oh, we're on. These are brand new standards, or brand new reels. 500 meters of poly wire, poly wire on them. We can't quite get the other ones, poly, uh, 200 meter ones won't make it, so. We gotta use the poly wire, not the poly tape. All good. Gonna put this one up now. A little trailer. Dad's just breaking off the tea tree so that um carries the wire a bit more easily and doesn't put it into the ground. Right, one more reel to put up. And it just as 
good. Good on both sides. See you some nice tucker. More quality. Yeah. Well, right, so this will be uh, four and four. Eight days. There you go. Let's see if we can see him. Uh, you can just see him in amongst the swamp there, a little white, but that's where he's going. We are starting back here. Beautiful day today, they're not making a mess yet. It's a little bit cut up, but not too bad, pretty good. Crack of a day, but. Yeah, all done. Better head off before these girls get too, uh, too noisy. All the good few days, look at that. It's so wet, it's still flooded in there. And we go through here, which is uh, flat. Clay Ridge here. Stopping that water from coming this way. Man, it's fine. Dad thinks he'll probably get another five days, probably. Maybe six. For the push. Just needs a good week of drying for that to go down. It's gonna, how many days does it get you out of the swamp? Was that 5, 11, 8, 7, 15, it's 26 days out here, just away from the river. Look at that, pigeons. Uh, probably left the rest of that maze in there. Farm pigeons. I must be watching YouTube videos. Pushed out and then, yeah. Heavy. Straight. We put him out of there. Now he's got a sledgehammer. Let's fly around. There we go, we've put the new bucket on. Well, the weed bucket, ready to go. Watch his dirty skills. Yeah, get it. There we go. Just like that. Jeez. Works. Parking her up and disconnect the trailer there. Go down and shift some of the equipment in the big barn and bring that fella out, give him a grease, that uh, feed out wagon, and then we'll um, take him down the farm, put him in the shed, in the big hay barn down the back. I went down, just picked up the tractor, tractor bucket now. We've got our uh, handy dandy chain down there, which we're going to be lifting out the equipment with. First one down, second one to go. I wasn't too confident to try to lift it. Um, yeah, I ended up uh, just breaking something. 
we are. There's those two there. I'm happy with that now. I didn't have to hook it up with a sneak chain. I'll just do that when we finish up. Go and put it back in. I'll just hook her up with the um, with the back hitch. It's much easier. Don't have to worry about anything breaking. We're just going to push these silage bars over into that corner. And then we'll go grab that uh, feed out wagon. Give her a grease up and That's bring right. it down. We'll just leave it there. That'll be a good spot for it. Little cat will be happy there. He'll, grow, he'll hop on that. Right, let's go find this uh, feed out wagon and bring it down. That's it, the final grease up all done. I just had to go. Right, well, let's get to it. Let's take it down and um, go put everything back in the barn. Ready, Arrow? Not too bad. Just gonna keep an eye on that board at the back. And this uh, side feed. Oh, we're gonna go under that. Miss that. That's lucky. I think we'll park in there. Perfect. We'll see how we go. That's the first one in. And now we'll put this on the back. And we'll do the same for the other one. Just put it on the back as well. And just back them in. Spot for it. Oh, let's take her off. There we go. Alright. So there's a bit of room around the other side. We might go drop her off around the other side. The rotary hoe. So there's not much room left there for it. And that's us all put it away. Rotary hoe. Ripper. I've actually put them around the wrong way. I should have put the ripper at the front. Right, she heard at the back. That's it for today. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the morning. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. All done for today. Homeward bound. Uh, much better. He's talking to Dad as he said. If you want, I can go down and do it. But yeah. Rippers at the front because rippers will be used first. Right, you home second. Base chopper there on the left. And wagon there on the right. Okay. All that. I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you.